I don't like these cheap grips. And I have an idea. And that idea is to use the original grips on the bike. Let me show you a couple things. I'm not going to use a double brake lever set up. I'm going to keep both brakes independent and I'm just going to put my clutch right here. Uh, this actually works out pretty good with this clutch lever being extra long. I can grab the brakes with two fingers or three. I can grab the brakes with two fingers and then still, whoops, still use the clutch like this. All right, so I can go clutch, brakes, brakes, clutch. So yeah, this is gonna be my setup. It, it doesn't really look bad. I thought maybe it would look weird, but I mean, you certainly don't see it every day, but it works. I mean, I got enough clearance here, clutch, brakes, it's, uh, it's not a problem. So um, rather than have what I think are these ugly, cheap-ass plastic grips, I'm just going to keep this grip over here. Which then led me to think, well, if I'm keeping that one, what am I going to do? Use this on the other side? But, you know, so they match. I thought, let me take this thing apart. Let me see if it's possible to take this thing apart and modify it and put the bike grips on this. So this is the part that we need to operate the throttle, right? This plastic insert. So I started messing around with this off camera just to see if it was possible. And once I realized that um, my fear was that this white piece was glued to the inside of this, and it's not. So, uh, so once I figured out I could take it apart, I stopped the camera so I can get this on, uh, on video. So what you'll need is a long screwdriver. Um, the screwdrivers that I had were not deep enough to reach that Phillips head screw in there. Um, every screwdriver I had was either too wide here or too short to reach, so I had to buy these. This is actually longer than I need, but anyway, you'll need a long screw Phillips head to get in there and get a grip on that uh, screw. So I've already done this, so it's going to come out easily. Then the next thing you need to do is take this cap off. And with any flat head, you can get in here. <clears throat> really close to the underside of this and you can pry down on this plastic. Now I did get it to move a little bit. The other way I got it to move, now this is <laughs> this is plastic so this is not going to take a whole lot of torque. But as you can see It's coming up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is uh, try and lube this, which leads me to another thing. Let me, let me tell you about this, too. Many of you have probably heard about using uh, WD-40 to loosen your grips, right? You get WD-40 down in there, lubricates it, and it lets you pull your grips off. Well, <clears throat> I find that if you have some of this, this is even better. This is a electronic cleaner. It's a quick drying formula, right? So when you're done, you don't have oily WD-40 over everything. This basically evaporates. So uh, if you have some of this, next time you need to take your grips off, try this. I think you'll like it better. All right, so let's try and get this in here above. Try 
and get this above down into that plastic. Oops. As I said, prying on this plastic is not going to be the greatest idea. Let's see if I can get on top of it again. I just like the idea of not destroying something in case I change my mind later. So rather than just cut this thing apart and destroy it, I'm going to see if I can take it apart. Gotta be careful with this here. This is the this is the bit that I need. And it's it's the only place I have to grab, so like I don't really want to be grabbing on this and applying a lot of pressure to it. Really tight. I don't have vice grips. I wonder if I if I drill a hole in this, it won't hurt anything, and it could give me an access point to. I could get something else in there. Maybe I'll try that. I can't turn this at all. That's not turning at all. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to drill a hole in this. I'm going to go right through the other side. So now what I'm going to do is open that hole up more with this pointy dealy. down, speed down a little bit. Wow, that is really in there tight. Well, I might have to destroy this thing now. Okay, new plan. I guess I'm gonna cut this off. I mean, this may be glued in there. If it's not glued in, it's just super tight.
and it's not glued in, but it's just really tight. It appears to be really tight here at this plastic chrome thing. So I suppose I'm gonna have to blast that apart. There we go. Okay, now we gotta fix this mess. I got a whole bunch of these wooden skewers in the kitchen, so I usually use one of those to get the spray tube in there. Almost. So the nice thing is that just evaporates. There's really nothing to clean up there. Now I'll cut this down to size. Right about right about where this raised edge starts. Maybe a little more than that should be enough. Plenty of clearance. This cuts pretty easy with a razor blade. Just kind of slice it down. Whoops. Slice and slide. Clean that up and then we'll uh, we'll see about getting this on there. This is definitely bigger than that, but if I'm lucky, it'll stretch. If I'm not lucky, I'll just spend money on really nice throttle. I don't want to do that if I don't have to, though. Here's how I fix these holes. Uh, I took a piece of tin foil. First, I thought about wax paper or something, but this is really super thin, so I figured this will be better. Take the tin foil, put it in there, right? That's going to be like a bed for my glue. And then I took some of this sandpaper, which is pretty stiff. It kind of wants to return back to its original shape, right? So the tin foil goes in. The sandpaper gets curled and placed on top of it. And that holds the sandpaper in place. Then I'll mix up my glue and put the glue in there and let it dry. One eternity later. All right. So I uh, glued these holes shut and sanded them down. And the reason for the uh, handlebar grip soup is to soften up, soften up this rubber in the hopes that it'll help uh, get these grips on this plastic bit because it is a tight fit. So a little uh, lubricant spray on here. Okay. So, that went on pretty easily. Some 120 sandpaper. Okay, well, I took the X-Acto knife and just cut a little bit more off the end of this. That's good enough for now. I might cut a little bit more off later, we'll see. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna get this 
throttle assembled and I'll put it on the bike and I'll show you the end result. The other thing I did here is uh, reverse the order of the brakes and the shifter. Um, I'd rather have my brake lever closer at hand <clears throat> rather than having to uh, reach over for the brakes. It'll be fine. Changing gears on this thing, I'm going to be off the throttle anyway. And I got just enough room to keep my speedometer there where it was. So, a quick recap. Take your original throttle and slice it right down the middle. That'll allow you to pull the white plastic insert out. If not, you can cut this too. Take the white insert out, measure the length you need. It might be perfect the way it is. My bike, the Dolomite, has a short right side grip because of the brakes and the shifter being there so I had to cut some of that off. Lube it up with the electronic cleaner or WD-40 and slide on your handlebar grip and you're good to go.